Hello everyone, it's Hanadi, your lively correspondent from Kids First. Today I'm thrilled to bring you the buzz live, where the excitement is high for the second edition of the Children's and Families Emmy Awards is high. This spectacular event is a grand celebration, shining the spotlight on the incredible talent responsible for the magic behind and in front of the camera, capturing the captivating world of our cherished Children's and Families programming. Get ready for an exclusive peek into the animated realm as I chat with your beloved voice talents. It's a night of stars, stories, and celebrations and I can't wait to share the magic with all of you. Can you guys tell me your names and what you guys have been nominated for tonight? Hi, I'm Dare McLeod. I'm Noor Judasoff. I'm Princess Map. And we are nominated for Outstanding Teen Show for Ghost Rider Season 3 on Apple TV+. Plus. That's so cool. Okay, so my first question is, if someone has never seen your show, how would you describe it? Sorry, can you say that one more time? If someone has never seen your show, how would you describe it? And only give me three words. Okay, I'll describe. Let's do it one word yeah, each. Yeah, yeah. I'll describe it as a uh, mysterious, magical, magical, adventurous. So cool. So, how has the experience of working on this show influenced your perspective on the importance of storytelling? Storytelling. Oh, I think I think Ghost Rider has definitely helped kids like with their imagination because during the show there's so many different books and it really has the power of imagination in the show. Like we have the Wizard of Oz, yes, we have definitely. Charlotte's Web, and then them coming live screen on on the camera really helps kids with like you know the power. Definitely, of definitely, and also storytelling is such an important role, like Princess said, because not only are we establishing stories that happen in real life, such as these storylines, these characters, Charlie, Samir. Yeah. And Nia, they all go through their own storylines, but we also are so important about talking about literature, which is one of the most underrated and most, but most impactful and prevalent methods of storytelling today. And it's important that we we raise awareness for it, or else it will vanish. And it's something that's so important to the world. That's a yeah, sorry. something other than the magic and the literature and the mystery. This show really touches topics on like sensitive things that people go through. Like, for example, my character Samir goes through a lot of racism because he's a Syrian refugee that came and traveled to America and now he's living there. So he goes through a lot of different things. Same with her. Same character. as my character, yeah, Mia. She experiences racism. And in the show, I'm happy that it's, it's in the show because she can show kids out there instead of taking that situation and making it seem as something that makes you weak, it makes you more powerful and stronger. That's amazing. So the show really touches bases on multiple things and brings all into like one story. Yes. That's so cool. Well, thank you guys so much for talking with thank me. Thank you so much. It was so nice to yes. meet you. It's nice to thank meet you. you. Hanadi. Hanadi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank yes. you. <laughs> Can you tell me your names and what you have been nominated for? Uh, my name is Andra Duke, and uh, I am with BYU TV and was nominated for All Around Champion. And my name is Mark Bishop, and I'm with Marble Media and also nominated for All Around Champion tonight. Amazing. So tell me a little bit about your show. All Round Champion is a really inspiring show that actually brings together kids who are top of their game, top athletes in each of their sports. Ten of them come together, but the, the trick is in every episode they have to compete in somebody else's sport. So it really pushes them beyond even what they think they're capable of to walk a mile in someone else's shoes, to try somebody else's sport and watch that journey that, that they overcome over the course of the episode and over the course of the season. And this season we are working with a whole team of para-athletes. So they're coming from all different backgrounds, having overcome disabilities and working through some real challenges that some of us cannot even understand. And yet they're competing in the, these amazing sports and competing in each other's environments. That's such an amazing concept. What message do you hope viewers will take away from watching something like this? So for us as a network, we really look to inspire young people uh, to overcome sportsmanship, to know that they can rise above their challenges, to know that they are resilient and can come back from from really difficult challenges. And so that's uh, that's what we're all that's what we're always looking for at BYU TV: entertain, inspire, and uplift. And and know that anything is possible. Really, again, through training, through hard work, you can do anything. Amazing message. So whatever you think you can do, you can do it. Absolutely. It. Well said. That's it. So cool. Thank you guys so much for talking with me. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Can you tell me your name and what you've been nominated for today? Um, my name is Maria Nash, and I am nominated for my animated series Pinecone and Pony. Ooh, so can you tell me a little bit about your show? Um, yeah, Pinecone is a young warrior. She has a 
really big heart and sometimes you know her heart and her emotions lead the way on her adventures but um, you know she always figures it out in the end. So tell me a little bit about your character. Um, like I said, she has a huge heart. She feels emotions really strongly. She's so kind and caring, though, always looking out for her friends and stuff. She sounds like an amazing character. Do you feel like you can relate to this character? Totally. I feel like I also feel things very strongly, and sometimes my emotions lead the way. Um, but, you know, always um, have a positive mindset about it, yeah. That's so nice to hear. So, hmm, let me think. So, do you feel like you are similar or different to your character? I know you just answered that. I'm so sorry. I just realized that. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I think we're definitely pretty similar. That's cool. So, hmm, so sorry. Um, that wraps up all my questions. Thank you for talking with Thank me. Thank you. It's Hannah, and I'm here representing the Muppets Mayhem. Oh, that's so cool. So, what is... So, someone, if someone has never seen your show, how would you describe it? Um, there's tons of music and there's tons of Muppets, like in the title, and there's like family and good times, and it's a, it's a really it's a really fun program. So, so what role do you play in the making of the Muppets? I'm a writer and a co-executive producer. Cool. So, what's it like writing something like that? It's really fun and really challenging and like a lot of pressure because I love the Muppets so much ever since I was your age and it's also just such a dream to get to work in that environment. Yeah. That's so cool. So what Muppet character do you feel like you're most alike? Oh, I really love Gonzo, but I also Kermit, uh, he's here representing and he's very close to my heart, literally, so um, I would have to say those two. That's so cool. So what's your favorite aspect of the show? My favorite aspect is the music of the show. Um, the the band, they all play together and we have original songs and cover songs and songs from the the Muppet team and, and new new writers and creators, so it's just been really great collaboration. That sounds like so much fun. Well, thank you so much for talking with me tonight and also congratulations. Thank you. You look beautiful. <laughs> thank you. You as well. You too. <laughs> Uh, my name is Wendy Harris, and I'm nominated for Blue's Clues Outstanding Preschool Series, and I'm the executive producer. Amazing! So what's it like to be able to produce a preschool show like that? It's amazing. I was fortunate enough to be on the original Blue's Clues back in the day, and so it's been really incredible to bring this show to a new audience and, you know, with a new host, it would make it a little bit more modern, but it's, yeah, it's a beautiful show. I'm happy to be a part of it. So just happy to just be able to have some contribution to it. Absolutely. I uh, was part of the original team and so definitely took a lot um, a lot of work to bring this back now and we're excited to be recognized. Amazing. So what would you say is the most important part of making a preschool show? The audience, the kids. Making sure that the kids are learning, that the kids love it, that they're laughing. So just making sure that it's fully accommodating to kids. Yeah, that's who we're making it for, and we want to make sure that it best serves our audience. And what message do you hope that young viewers will take away from watching Blue's Clues? Excuse me? What message do you hope that viewers will take away from watching Blue's Clues? That they can do anything they want to do. I'm Hanadi reporting for Kids First. Be sure to like, subscribe to our channel to stay informed about acclaimed films. Thank you. Bye.